What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new Hybrid Network News Flash. Godzilla King of the Monsters hits theaters in just a few short months and brings with it a whole host of kaiju. Not only is Godzilla returning, but Mothra is also going to share the screen with him. King Ghidorah stands as the primary antagonist and multiple other creatures that we've seen in the trailer, unknown creatures we should say, are going to be on the film as well. And of course, it's also going to feature the return of Rodan to the big screen for the first time ever in an American production and for the first time in any movie, any live action film we should specify in 15 years. His last appearance was 2004's Godzilla Final Wars. And we know Rodan is going to play a major role in King of the Monsters, whether it's as a foe, which of course he was in his original film appearance and a couple of appearances after that, or as a friend, which he eventually became to Godzilla, specifically during the events of Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, which this film seems to be sort of loosely based on. And Rodan is one of the most iconic and instantly recognizable kaiju out there, just that classic pteranodon look, basically looking like a dinosaur, a massive dinosaur, come to life. But in this new film, you're going to notice he looks a little bit different. In an interview with Tamashi JP, director Michael Doherty talked about updating Rodan for this film and then the first time he's ever been done by an American studio and bringing him to life in full CGI and back to the big screen for the first time in 15 years. Doherty says, Very similar to Godzilla, I tried to come up with a look for him that felt like something that could have crawled out of a volcano. So, in the look of his scales, even the color of his body, there are elements of volcanic rock because I wanted to create a creature that looked like it could live inside a volcano if it had to. But also, it's meant to look like something Mother Nature could have created. So it sounds like they're embracing the sort of volcanic origin for Rodan. We know that he's actually cocooned inside a volcano in Isla de Mona off the coast of Mexico, which we do see in the, uh, the trailer, him erupting out of that volcano, his birth, uh, and then devastating the city as he flies over. But it does sound like they're not changing his design too, too much. They've kind of made him look a little more craggy, a little more rocky, a little more volcanic. But other than that, he's going to look like a that classic pteranodon look, it sounds like. Let us know what you think of the redesign in the comment section down below. But that's going to do it for us here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. And consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.